Today we're talking about voice memos. Now, I've actually never used voice memos on the Mac, and I wanted to see if it was any different than the mobile version. So here we have it open, and uh, instantly we can see that all of my uh, recordings from my phone synced. And as you can see, I'm not very organized or anything. They have some really random uh, names here, but we can always Let's see, organize more. So it looks like we can have a folder. So that's really uh, neat. So if you maybe are recording like an audio book or something, you could record that. So audio book project, start a folder. And then uh, this big red button, of course I can record, but first let me see what sort of preferences we have. Clear deleted after 13 days, 30 days, sorry. And you can choose that, location-based naming. Ooh, lossless. Again, I'm a sucker for high quality stuff. So not a ton of preferences. I guess changing into high quality, new recording, blah, blah, blah. So not a whole lot of uh, stuff so far. Let's do a quick recording. I don't know if I can record this voice memo and if it will record into here. It does look like it is capturing my audio, so that's pretty cool. So we can see a close-up waveform as well as the entirety of the waveform here at the bottom. So that's, uh, that's nice to have two different views. We can see we have a pause option here. So that way, if you don't want to fully stop the recording, uh, obviously I can hit done. But if I just need to take a break or do whatever, then I could hit resume. And I can see the red is where it left off. So that's pretty cool. You can see what the new recording is, even though it's still attached. You can see my runtime. And if I hit done, what's that going to do? Let's make this a little bit bigger. Again, we see those two waveforms. The close up one, this one doesn't look like I can move the playhead really. So this is the one you want to grab to move around the entire recording. I can pause, I can go back 15 or forward 15 seconds. And then let's see up here at the top, we have our traditional share options. I can favorite it. I'm guessing I can select over here. I can change the title. Now if I hit edit, uh, this is going to open up the editor. And what options do we have? I don't see, okay, there we go. Uh, so this, can I get a name? It looks like a auto fix. All right, doesn't really tell me what it does. To be honest, I'm not a fan. Uh, what it sounds like it does is some noise removal for the background and just kind of enhances the voice a little bit. Uh, but it looks to be dropping uh, the volume in some parts and then raising in others, not really a fan. Uh, and then over here, okay, this we can see we have trimming. The only downside to this one is uh, you can't like cut out the middle. So if I want to remove this section from here to here, believe everything else, I can't do that. It's pretty much only if I wanted to start it here and then like end it here. And of course I can play this back, skip around, see what that section sounds like. And then let's see if it's like the phone. If I hit trim here, so now it's trimmed. Can I hit cancel? Okay, so it goes back. But this is where a lot of people ask me on the mobile version if I get and trim it there, trim it there, say trim. And then I'm like, ooh, this sounds good. I don't know why the waveform's glitched out. And then hit done. So as soon as you trim it and save it, you cannot recover that. So if you wanted to trim something, but you're not sure if you want to save it forever, always right click and then duplicate. So that way you could go in, hey, that fixed our waveform thing here. So that way you can go in and uh, trim this one down. Say you just want you know, a small section of this, trim it, save it, hit done. Uh, and so now you can have a little teaser or something that you uh, edited, but you still have the full recording up here. So yeah, always remember that. So this is a pretty cool, uh, simple voice memo recording. It's powerful, but it's simple. Not a ton of editing features, but 
Uh, if this works for you, then sweet. Check it out on the Mac desktop now. Uh, and thanks so much for watching, guys. See you in the next video.